What's up everyone, Dabblade here with a breakdown and overview of the new Switch skills for the Charge Blade in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Now Capcom have been giving us teasers and tidbits of information regarding the various new Switch skills for all the weapons in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, and this time it's the turn of the Charge Blade. Now the new additions for the Charge Blade are kind of confusing, at least from the teaser trailer that they've shown off and the information they provided. There are quite a few unanswered questions to how it all works, but I'm going to try to break down what was shown off as best I can. So first of all, the new Silkbind attack. Although it's not really an attack of such, but regardless, as it's a Silkbind move, it requires wire bugs to use. This new move is called Ready Stance. It's a Silkbind maneuver that binds your sword and axe together with Iron Silk. And from the looks of it, doing this allows you to block pretty much any incoming attack. I assume this won't count towards unblockable attacks though. In other words, it's a massive guard point because after guarding, a heavy knockback leaves you in sword mode and lowers your guard reaction time so you're able to chain into sword or axe attacks. So from the looks of the footage, after you block with ready stance, you can go into sword attacks or axe attacks. It looks like it can chain into a lot of combos. But I do find this move a little bit confusing because we already had access to numerous guard point maneuvers to which we could counter and block attacks and then go into other moves. But I do wonder if Ready Stance is a lot more lenient when it comes to builds. As with the old guard points, you needed to invest in guard and so on and so forth. Maybe with Ready Stance, you don't need to invest into shield boosting skills on your armor. I'm not sure. There are a lot of unanswered questions about this, in my personal opinion. But there are quite a few unanswered questions with all the various weapons in the game. And we'll have to wait until we get our hands on them to fully understand them. Finally, when it comes to the ready stance, it seems that you get to choose between this and counter peak performance, so that's something to be aware of. Now the other new move, the switch skill, is known as file follow up firing pin. This replaces the file follow up move, which for those of you who don't know, file follow ups are attacks for when you've gone into sword boost mode, as in you've charged your sword up, or when you smack a monster during some of the charge blade sword and shield attacks. Basically you would attack a monster and then a file burst would occur about a second after hitting the monster, almost simultaneously whilst your sword or your shield was boosted. Now the file follow up firing pin changes this slightly. Basically a mechanism that lowers the pressure of elemental energy generated throughout the shield thrust during elemental burst or by the sword attacks whilst it's in sword boost mode. This elemental energy generated will now instead build up on a target rather than instantly being activated, but it will disperse over time. However, you can detonate this stored energy on a target by hitting that same spot whilst you're in axe mode, dealing extra damage whilst in said axe mode, whilst also extending the time limit of the elemental boost. So in keeping with the complexity of the charge blade, things are worded a little bit strangely shall we say. But from the footage and the way it's written, and from my experience with the charge blade, whilst your shield is boosted or you're in sword boost mode, when you attack a monster, the point you attack, elemental energy will start generating on it. Should you hit that same point with your axe mode, it will detonate that energy dealing extra damage, whilst also extending the time your charge blade is elementally boosted. So personally out of these two new moves, the firing pin for me is the most intriguing. It's going to be interesting to see how it works overall. But again, there are a lot of questions that I'm sure many of us have regarding these new moves with the charge blade, and I'm sure they will be answered in time. But what are your thoughts? Please leave a comment down below, and until next time, I've been Dartblade, bringing you a quick overview to the new switch skills for the charge blade in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.